All right, guys, back on the old uh, SG here. Um, so this has been sitting now, strung to tension for a couple of months, or at least it seems that way anyway. Um, and as I say, a while back when my son was here, he played it a bit and said it was cool. Um, the only thing I did notice is the uh, action had raised a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's still okay, but um, what I might do, I, I was a little nervous that the neck might have changed and that uh, it had taken an up bow, but nope, I checked it with the old uh, straight edge and it is flat and true, so a little bit of movement in the neck pocket, I suspect, is what's happened here because it's only held really with one screw on the front. Um, so I might put another little shim just to tip it back a little bit more uh, because the, the bridge is at its lowest, pretty much at its lowest setting. Um, and so then if, it's if the action is too low, I have plenty of room here to raise it up. Um, the other thing that's a little noticeable is there's quite a distance here between the body and the actual strings. And so when you set the pickups correctly, they're sticking up way proud of the um, of the pickup rings. So I might uh, replace them with something a little bit more meaty. Um, these are meant for a curved top, obviously, but uh, I can grind them down. Might just just looks a little odd with the pickup so far out of the uh, of the ring. Um, okay, so I guess next is strip it all down and start uh, put some finish on this body. Um, although the super glue does a really cool job because it's, um, as I say, it doesn't take up any stains and it's looking good, looking good. So onwards and upwards. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, well, uh, you know, in, in consistent with how this project has been going from the outset. Um, <clears throat> we're gone a few steps backward. <clears throat> so, my original intention, as I think I said at the outset, was to just get a playable instrument. And I think in the uh, mock-up, I think it looks like that is going to be a highly playable instrument. So, uh, my initial strategy for finishing was going to be pretty basic. So for instance on the back I just shot a bit of primer and some uh, black gloss and I was going to just maybe put a couple of layers of clear on and then we're done. Um, however, now that I know it can play so well, um, when I started looking at the quality of the finish on it, I thought, yeah, it kind of looks like a 12 year old kid's school project. So. Even though it might play really well, every time I pick it up and every time I look at it, it's going to completely piss me off. <laughs> so I thought, going to do it, do it properly. So a couple of the things I got to correct. So there were various dents in the front here, uh, obviously because it had been used for a while without, um, you know, having its proper coats of lacquer on there to protect it. The binding uh, either wasn't quite flush with the uh, wood when I did it or it has shrunk along the way who knows with all the reaction to the tape that I was on there um, anyway the bottom line is this is not a completely flat surface across here so when you um, spray the, fin the final coats on it's going to be very hard to get that buffed off so it's perfectly flat smooth and mirror like finish and so uh, it varied differently as you go around so I basically have to send it all back um, to get the wood and the binding perfectly flat and smooth so that if you close your eyes you can't tell you know where the binding channel is um, so that's all really boring and I gotta go around and do all that the whole way around Um, on the back, another thing that's uh, happened unexpectedly, uh, I'm sure you can see this. Um, this is the plug where I filled the original control cavity. Um, when I fitted this wooden insert, I made sure it sat well proud of the back of the guitar. 
so that when I sanded everything down, it was completely flat. Now, it would seem subsequently that it either the surrounding wood has expanded or this plug has shrunk in some way because there's now a definitive, definite difference in height here. And so when I first noticed it, I thought, eh, well, you know, it's at the back, who's going to see it? Uh, but now having reflected, I thought, ah, that's junk, can't leave that like that. So we're going to have to get back to the wood, I think, on here. Get this so it's completely flat again. And then start over. Um, so yes. <laughs> Just as well I'm not in a hurry with this one, um, <laughs> but yeah, I've kind of decided that I want this to look as good as it can look when we're done, and uh, as I say, the, there's various blemishes on the back here that really need to get sorted out, so we'll take the time and do it properly, and uh, do it all properly. Okay, so back to the bare wood for the back. Uh, so there is now no difference in height here. I sanded all that down so everything is flush. Let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> Next time I spread, we'll see. Um, yeah, there was lots of irregularities in the cutouts here, so again, I thought that would just upset me later as well. So I took care of all of that. It now looks in much better condition to start doing proper finishing. The, the front the front is okay, that is that is pretty much all rubbed down and ready for finish. Um, but this I'm going to have to reseal. And so the other thing that I've done is the strategy has switched from what I would call the, the quick and nasty spraying with um, your regular sort of acrylics out of an aerosol can to I'm going to do it properly like I used to with proper spray gear and I'm going to switch back to the uh, water-based products um, because these um, acrylics and nitrocellulose uh, give me quite nasty respiration problems after a while it's okay if I'm just spraying a little metal bracket on the radio chassis or something but if I spray something like this, it doesn't matter how well ventilated I edit the place is, I start to feel unwell. So, um, I was just looking up on the web for the latest and greatest in uh, finishes and fillers and everything else. And a lot has moved along on the water-based front since the last time I had to go. So, uh, a bunch of stuff is on order. Um, and when that comes, we'll get back to this. Um, and so, yeah, it's a little frustrating to have to take it all the way back, but it is finished off to a much higher standard now. So when it gets uh, finished properly, it's going to look a lot nicer, and I'll be a lot happier every time I look at it. <laughs> Alright guys, more to come. <laughs> 